Right, okay, hopefully this uh, camera will continue working. Um, we've done the second beat, we've polished it up, and uh, that's okay. What we're going to do is these channels here are a little bit obvious, so we're going to probably smooth them out um, and uh, they won't be so apparent. Then, once we get the texture in, uh, it should be okay. The main thing is it's uh, they're there for the other beak for the, for the beaks to to lie in. So there we go. Now the question is, how do you not get your beaks mixed up? Because you've made them so that one fits particular, you know, on one side in particular, and another fits on the other side. So probably the easiest thing to do. I've already got. One dot, two dots on the bottom to uh, indicate size, uh, sides. So that's one dot, and this is going to be two dots. One there, and one there. Hopefully that stays on. So now we'll get the right beaks on the right side. It's called forward planning. Right, okie dokie. So I think what we might do is uh, just clean up underneath here a little bit. Because we've still got these cuts showing just underneath the, uh, the heads. That one's out of the way. out of the way. So we were saying, let's try and reduce the, call it the severity of these uh, notches we've got. And maybe the easiest thing to, to do is just to sand them. We're about ready for popping the eyes in, um, and the best thing to use would really be glass eyes. Um, they'll, they'll bring your carvings to life um, if you've got the right ones. Um, and I have no connection with the, uh, the company, but uh, you can get your glass eyes from. Uh, I think it's Snowdonia Taxidermy. They uh, supply uh, taxidermy, uh, it's called enthusiasts and stick makers. And um, it's uh, quite interesting what you can buy from them um, if you're into uh, carving birds and things. You can get uh, birds' feet in, um, in pewter and all sorts. So it uh, makes a nice job of. Um, your bird carvings. As I say, this is uh, London Flame, and it can sometimes be just a little bit on the soft side. So um, you have to be a wee bit careful sometimes. This is where the uh, the handles within the vice um, jaws. 
and the jaws have just nicked it. And uh, the wood's soft enough to take it an impression. Still recording, so that's a good thing. No idea what caused that to stop. Maybe the camera was getting a bit bored. <laughs> there was that possibility.
Well, we're going to see if we've got any um, eyes that are suitable now. So I'll have to find my box with the eyes in. It's in here somewhere. Not sure where. Right, yes, uh, we were having problems with the camera. Apparently we've run out of memory, so uh, I've dumped a load of uh, previous files and uh, hopefully we'll be okay for uh, the rest of uh, this session. Now, I'll tell you about eyes. I haven't got the eyes I want. I've got these um, clear eyes with a black pupil. They're uh, the five and a half mil, I think. Uh, they say five mil on there. So I've got six of these and what I'm going to do is try and use these but paint the back of them so that they're all black and I hope I get away with that um, these are from glasseyes.com www.glasseyes.com and they're in uh, Conway North Wales so uh, you can uh, check them I was telling you about the um, the bird's feet that they do this is snowed on your mail order same company, exactly the same company. I'm sure it's the same address, same phone number and everything. Um, but uh, they've just split it up. And uh, these are pewter feet for uh, for birds. So if you're carving a little bird, um, you don't have to worry about uh, feet. And these are what these are for um, a white throat sparrow. Right, okay. Um, you'll get away with a lot of things as long as you've got the uh, the proportions right so there you go um it's been a fairly long session there's a lot to uh, download so uh, at this point i think we're going to stop and um, as i say we'll see if we can get these eyes painted and um, all we need to do with the eyes is just drill five mil five and a half mil um bit of glue drop those eyes in uh, leave them to to set and um, then what we can also do is we need to just put a little bit of a I don't know what you'd call it really detail in there um, like so now we'll um, have a play with the beaks and see where we're going from there um, this really wants, I think before we put the eyes in, this wants um, some sanding sealer on it and also a real good rub down, so there's plenty of work there. Uh, this one's round enough. And um, I've got a nice collar actually, which I think I'm going to fit on this. And I'll show you that in the next session. So thanks for watching, it's been a long one. Uh, I hope you haven't got too bored. Um, uh, so that's it. Now, I'm on Facebook and I found quite a good uh, group on there. I think they're called Stip Makers and Stip Makers Supplies. So if you're interested in like stip making, that's um, quite a good group to uh, to be uh, on. And uh, there's lots of good stip makers in on there. You'll see lots of different uh, things they've done and it's worthwhile uh, joining the group. Okay, so thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your subscriptions. I will catch you again. Bye bye.